And yeah, that's right. Come on, come on, get ready and clap your hands. Hey, boy, like girl. that. Stand Just up. Just like that. Stop your feet and Everybody. clap your hands. Come on. It's time for Skeet Jones. Yeah, and yeah. And the puppet. Hey. And that is all. <laughs> come on with Skeet. We can be free. A place to learn, a place to grow. You can just let go. Let's have them all. And that is all. I just want you to come and go with speed to a place of peace where everybody can turn their dreams into reality. There's no better place to be than with Ski Jones. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> You are just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. And that's why I love hanging with you. So come on, everybody. We hanging with Skeet Jones. Positive Nation TV. Come on. Hey, boys and girls. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Skeet Jones. And this is the Magical Puppet Playhouse on Positive Nation TV. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Skeet Jones and the Magical Puppet Playhouse. I am Skeet Jones. Today on my size report, and uh, we are going to talk about toys. And today's episode is about the toy stick. <laughs> I bet you guys are surprised about that. Corey is here from his college campus, Zooming. He's here to talk about uh, the toy stick. Welcome to the show, Cousin Corey. How you doing, my brother? I'm great, Skeet. It's great to be back on the Magical Puppet Playhouse. All right, man. It's good to have you. All right. So, you ready to get started? I'm ready, man. All right. Give it to him, man. Thank you, Skeet. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Corey, and I'm here to talk to you about the toy stick. In 2008, the stick was inducted into the Toy Hall of Fame, and this information can be found at toyhalloffame.org backslash toys backslash stick. The stick may be the world's oldest toy. Animals play with sticks and we use them to play fetch with our dog. Children find sticks an endless source of make-believe fun. Sticks can turn into swords, magic wands, major red batons, fishing poles, animals, people, and lightsabers. When children pretend with sticks, they cultivate their creativity and develop their imagination. They explore as they search the outdoors for just the right one. Children build with sticks, play baseball with them, and walk with them. They are originally the building blocks for creative play. Sticks also promote free play, the freedom to invent and discover. They encourage playing outside instead of inside. And sticks are all around us. They are natural and free. And playing with sticks isn't just for children and animals. Adult artists, crafters, decorators, and architects all make use of sticks in sculptures, wreaths, furniture, and building design. Few adults or children can resist simple play with sticks, from drawing in the sand on the beach, to building a campfire, and then toasting marshmallows. Sticks are not only possibly the oldest toys, but possibly the best. Yeah! Man. Yeah, Corey, they are the best toys, man. And I got a big surprise, too. Thank you, Corey, for that wonderful report about the toy stick. And that is so remarkable, man. The Hall of Fame. Toy Hall of Fame. Who would have thought that? Man, I learned all that while I was looking up my report. All right, now, boys and girls, Skeet's going to share with you the most famous pastime with a stick, the best stick toy ever. Yeah. Are you ready, boys and girls? Are you ready? Boys and girls, wasn't those the best sticks ever? Fishing, yeah, fishing with sticks. Man, they was using a stick as a chair and a fishing rod. And the hobby horse stick, that was the best toy. Wow, man, big stick with a horse head, and you get to ride it. Best toy ever. All right, boys and girls, me and Corey were so excited to bring you this report. Skeet just couldn't wait to bring you this report. But look, 
You got to stand by. We got a fantastic show for you. Episode five. We got uh, storytelling, which you know is always uh, uh, Skeet's favorite thing because Skeet loves when people read to him. And also, we got some more music videos so we can dance, y'all. So we can get our dance on. Yeah, man. You know, Skeet and Corey love, we love to dance because Skeet, Skeet, see, Corey, Corey's a musician, see? And uh, you'll see him in music videos coming up real soon because uh, they ready to roll them out right here on the Magical Puppet Playhouse. So thank you, boys and girls, for tuning in. And don't forget, you can catch us on YouTube as well. Uh, just go out there to my channel, Positive Nation TV. Check us out. All right? Appreciate you guys. Love you. And we see you next week. Don't forget to tune in every Saturday at 1 p.m. on the Cab Channel 25. Or you can catch me on the Earth Channel streaming all over the world. Have a good day, y'all. Boys and girls. Is that myself right there, uh, Jerry Roy? Yeah, say that over. Thank you, boys and girls. Have a great, have a great weekend. And see you next week. See you, Corey. Thanks, man. Uh do your homework. <laughs> All right, cut. Hey, boys and girls, it's Skeet Jones. And I have one question for you. What time is it? I can't hear you. What time is it? One more time. What time is it? it? Yes, boys and girls, it's storytelling time on the Magical Puppet Playhouse with Skeet Jones and friends. Let's give a warm welcome to our storyteller on Positive Nation TV. Yay! Hello boys and girls, my name is Tamika Reed and today I am going to share a story with you titled Susie Sings This is the Color. Susie is excited about being in her mother's backyard, skipping and singing a song about the main colors. Red apples, Susie said as she skipped around her mother's backyard singing, this is the color, this is the color, this is the color red. <laughs> Susie continued to skip around her mother's backyard. A blue ball! Susie started singing. This is the color, this is the color, this is the color blue. Susie enjoyed skipping. She dropped her blue ball and saw a yellow sunflower. Yellow! Susie started to sing. This is the color, this is the color, this is the color yellow. <laughs> Susie ran to put the yellow sunflower on her mother's green table. Green table, Susie said. Then she started to sing. This is the color, this is the color, this is the color green. Susie had so much fun skipping and singing in her mother's backyard. It was where she spent most of her time playing. A brown bird, Susie laughed pointing up to the bird near the apple tree. Susie started to skip and sing. This is the color, this is the color, this is the color brown. <laughs> Goodbye, brown bird, Susie says. Uh-oh, Susie said as she realized her shoelaces were untied. Susie sat on the green grass and tied her shoes the best way she knew how. Susie got up and she saw a purple sand bucket. Purple! Susie started to skip and sing. This is the color, this is the color, this is the color purple. Susie skipped all around her mother's backyard. She had so much energy and didn't show any sign of being tired. She continued to skip. Susie heard a loud sound coming from the sky. Orange airplane! Susie said, then she started to sing. This is the color, this is the color, this is the color orange. <laughs> Susie, time to come in, wash up and get ready for supper, Susie's mom said in a loud voice. Come in, mom, Susie said as she skipped her way into the house, singing very excitedly. 
I know my colors, Mom. I know my colors. Go me. Susie was happy to know her colors. When Susie came in to wash up for supper, she started to sing. Red, yellow, brown, and blue. Orange, green, and purple too. Susie was happy she knew her colors and had fun playing out in the backyard. Red, yellow, brown, and blue. Orange, green, and purple too. Red, yellow, brown, and blue. Orange, green, and purple too. The end. Thank you boys and girls for listening to this amazing book. You guys have a safe and blessed holiday and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Welcome to Storytime. My name is Tamika Reed and I am here to read to you today, Nicole and the Shining Star. Nicole, Nicole, it's time for bed, Nicole's mother said. Yes, Mom, Nicole replied. Come on and let me tuck you in, her mother told her. Mom, yes, Nicole, I miss Daddy, she said while climbing into bed. Well, I miss your Daddy too, sweetheart, but Daddy is up in heaven with the angels, the mother explained to her daughter. When is he coming back? Nicole asked. Your daddy isn't coming back, but he will always be in your heart. My heart? Nicole asked. Yes, your heart, Nicole, her mother responded while gently tapping the center of Nicole's chest. Now it's time for bed. Okay, mom. Good night. Miss Yvonne had been raising Nicole alone for the past year. Ever since Nicole's father's death, Nicole was now four years old. Her dad passed away when she was three years of age. Nicole had a close relationship with her father, seeing and speaking to him a lot before he was called home to be with the Lord. Good night, Nicole. I love you, her mother said before walking out of the bedroom. When Miss Yvonne turned around to take one last look at her daughter, she observed Nicole's room shining brightly. It almost seemed as though the light was on, but a star shining through the window illuminated the room. As Nicole's mother walked over to the window to close the curtain, Nicole whispered, Mom, please don't close the curtain. Okay, but you must go to sleep. Yes, Mom, Nicole said. Wow, that star is shining so brightly, Nicole, Miss Yvonne commented, then covered her eyes as if she were being blinded. This caused Nicole to giggle. <laughs> After her mother left the room, Nicole jumped out of bed to go look at the bright shining star. With her eyes open wide in amazement, she smiled at the star, which twinkled while shining brightly. Nicole continued to stare at the star with her bright eyes until she fell asleep on the window ledge. The next morning, Miss Yvonne entered Nicole's room and found her sleeping on the window ledge. Nicole, what are you doing up there? How did you even climb up there? Mom, mom, the star. What star, Nicole's mother asked. The bright shining star that was up in the sky, she said. Miss Yvonne looked at her and gently replied. There isn't a star, Nicole. Nicole was a little sad because it was now daytime. And in the daytime, there weren't any stars in the sky. Throughout the day, Nicole ran back and forth to the window, checking to see if the star was there. She was not able to see the star shine until it was dark outside. When nighttime finally came, Nicole ran to the window and there was the star shining brightly again. Miss Yvonne walked into the room and saw Nicole at the window. Look, Mom, there it is, there it is, Nicole exclaimed. What, Nicole? Miss Yvonne asked. The star, the star, Nicole shouted with excitement. Wow, Nicole, 
That star is shining so brightly. That's the only star that shines so much. It's so beautiful, Nicole's mother said, then began to tickle her. Nicole giggled while squirming to get away. <laughs> Missy Von then started to sing. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. Nicole's wish was to bring her dad back home, but it was understood very much that bringing him back was impossible. After looking at the stars in the sky and making a wish, Miss Yvonne told Nicole to get into bed. As she walked out of the room, she turned back and said, I love you, Nicole. I love you too, Mom, Nicole replied. After Nicole lay in bed, all she can do was think about the star in her dad. Looking over at the picture of her father that was sitting on her nightstand, Nicole said, Good night, Dad. Nicole finally fell asleep, and at that time, the shining star brightened Nicole's room more than usual. The brightness of the room awakened Nicole, opening one eye. She saw her father standing with a smile on his face. He stood in the shining star's beam that came through in the window amazed and shocked to see her dad. Both her eyes popped open widely. I love you, Nicole, her father told her, and I will always be with you. The star that shines brightly in your room is a symbol of me. It's to let you know that I will always be with you. You can't see me, but just know that I am always with you in spirit. And whenever you see that bright shining star, always remember, it's your dad. Nicole's father then gave her a kiss on the forehead. As he disappeared into the light, she began to cry and rush towards the window. Nicole wanted her dad. She started to cry louder and louder. Her mom came running in the room, and still, the room was shining so bright. What's wrong? Why aren't you in bed, sweetie? Miss Yvonne asked. Mom, I want my daddy, Nicole said, as her mother picked her up and held her in her arms. Daddy was called home to be with the angels. He will always be with you. Though, Nicole, your daddy loved you so much, and he wouldn't want you to cry. Sometimes God will call our loved ones home to be with him because he needs them there in heaven with him more than we do here on earth. Always know that your dad is now our guardian angel. He will watch over us. Despite Miss Yvonne's explanation, Nicole didn't understand. I want my daddy, I want my daddy, she cried as her mother continued to hold her. Nicole, look at me, baby, Miss Yvonne said with bright, teary eyes. Nicole looked at her mother. Miss Yvonne took her hand and placed it on her heart. Nicole did the same as her mother placing her hand over her own heart. Do you feel your heart beating, Nicole? Yes, mom, Nicole answered. Okay, Nicole, your heart is where your dad will be. He'll always be with you. Your dad is watching over us at all times and he will never leave your side. And guess what, Nicole? We will see him again one day soon. Your daddy loves you and I love you too. Nicole's mother said as she wiped the tears from Nicole's eyes. Miss Yvonne then gave her a big hug and started to tickle Nicole to make her laugh. Do you want to sleep with me? Her mother asked. No, mom, 
I want to stay in my own bed. As Nicole smiled and got back into bed, Miss Yvonne began tucking her in bed. Good night, she said, before leaving Nicole so she can go to sleep. This time, when her mother left out of the room, Nicole was okay. She was more at peace. She felt much better and remembered what her father had told her. Getting out of bed, Nicole went over to the window to look at the star one more time and smiled. After a minute or two, she got back in bed and off to sleep she went, remembering what her mother and father said to her that night. Nicole looked forward to seeing the shining star every night before she went to bed. All Nicole could do was smile and remember her dad as if he were still there. The end. Always remember, your loved one will always be in your heart. Thank you. Alright boys and girls, this is Skeet Jones and this is the part of the show where it's time for us to get our dancing on. That's right, so grab your favorite shoes or just get your socks and let's get our dance on. Alright, you ready? One, two, three, hit it!
Merry Christmas, everyone. Magical Puppet Playhouse on Positive Nation TV.